All right, welcome back to another one, y'all. We got that SCP-925, the ice under what? 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 I the the ice waterman. I said the ice under water. The ice waterman. All right, looking like we got some amphibians, you know, Aquamans, you know. So we finna find out, see what it's talking about. Shout out my boy, the rubber. Let's get straight into this, bro. Your discretion is advised. A body was hauled onto the boat. It looked like it has been dead. That shit got horns. Throw it back. It got horns. Throw it back. Let me say it one more time for the people that don't listen. It got horns. Throw it back. I don't want days none of that. And submerged underwater for a very long time. Hmm. It looked unnaturally pale. No signs of injuries. And the antlers on the body's head looked real. Almost too real. Which I thought he was cosplaying. Suddenly, the thing opened its eyes and grabbed the nearest person and dived into the icy water. Another ran forward to save him, but was also dragged against his will. Mm. The remaining fishermen ran to the bridge to radio for help. Before they could establish a connection, a spear oh. went through his body and pinned him against the console. No, no. Well, where the, where the, oh, I think the rubber began demonetized or something because of the I ain't, <laughs> black blood. That's crazy. Please, no. Hello, everybody. I'm the rubber. Hey, rubber. Today, we bring you a SCP Foundation Euclid class object, Talk to me. SCP 924. Talk to me. SCP 924, also known as the Ice Water Man, is a species oh, of pale humanoid. These entities have the appearance of a waterlogged human. That boy, rubber, cozy. That boy, rubber, cozy. You got the hoodie on? Okay. Human corpse with the addition of several bony, antler like growths on the head and a set of external gills located just below the ribcage. To function properly, 924 requires a near-freezing Arctic environment and will lapse into a state of estivation if the water around it arises above 4 degrees Celsius. 924 is an ambush predator. It attacks prey from underwater using either a hole in the ice as an appropriate ambush location or by simply breaking through the ice itself. It is highly sensitive to both smell and vibrations, allowing it to track prey from Damn, significant distances what is or through the ice. If the attack is successful, the target is promptly drowned. After that, 924 will drag the body down to the ocean floor for consumption. After one to six- Why was he really lathering that piece of meat? He said, mm, -hmm. look, look, look. will drag the body down- to That boy is hitting a prayer on that arm. To the ocean floor for consumption. He, After one to yo, six, yo, that nigga a freak. He started rubbing it too. We'll drag the body down to the ocean floor look, 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 look. for consumption. Mm -hmm. He started rubbing his arm. After one to six hours, the drowned bodies will be released to the surface. The recovered bodies show all signs of prolonged submersion and high pressure, as well as liquefaction and consumption of internal organs and muscles. 924 was first recorded as a series of mysterious disappearances of ice fishermen in an undisclosed area. The local authorities, after being alerted on a fishing vessel which had not returned from a fishing expedition, dispatched Agent Kurt and Sergeant Marlowe to investigate. The pair rented a speedboat from the village and rowed out to sea. Following the coordinates and information from the villagers, they soon found the fishing vessel. The boat was floating idly on calm water with thin sheets of ice blocks closely surrounding it. No signs of life. They waded through the ice to get closer to the boat. Once aboard, a pungent stench assaulted their nostrils. Sergeant Marlowe was about to hurl, but he held it in. Agent Kurt drew his pistol. Okay. Careful, something's not right here. Got As they SCP explored senses. the deck, they saw a trail of dried blood. One end of it led towards the rubber. You might as well make the the blood purple. You know, like like on some dang and rumpa ish. You know, I don't know if you watch anime, but if you watch the video, you might as well make the blood purple instead of making it uh black. You know what I'm saying? The edge of the boat. They followed the trail and found themselves in the bridge where it had originated from. There was no body, only bits and pieces of flesh of unknown origins littered along the trail of blood. Sergeant Marlowe couldn't hold it anymore. He excused himself out yeah. of the room hastily. He Agent not built for war. and continued to inspect the scene. The fire axe was secured behind the glass. No signs of struggle. The control console was heavily punctured with a large hole in the middle. Blood covered the broken console. He looked out to the window. The pale sky and gray sea split apart by the horizon with nothing in between. 
The boat had ventured far and now stranded in the middle of nowhere. As he tried the radio, he heard a scream. He rushed out and saw Sergeant Marlowe stumbling. Bro, Jit is obviously tripping, bro. Get him, yo, give him an honorable discharge. I'm tired of him. He's acting like a little, uh, At the edge of the boat, a crude oh. spear had impaled his chest. The sergeant oh, might die. slowly turned around to face Agent Kurt. His expression was blank from the shock. Help me. Suddenly, a pale hand took hold of the sergeant from behind and pulled him overboard. Agent Kurt rushed forward and saw a pool of blood forming on the water. He immediately took out his radio to call for help. This is Agent Kurt requesting backup. I'm on top of the... Before he could finish, the creature, 924, oh, broke through bold. a sheet of ice and jumped straight towards Pistol. Agent Kurt. Pull it, out. it got on top of him. Agent Kurt quickly nice, fired nice, at 924. Nice, 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 nice. A few shots made contact, and it was forced to retreat Let's to the go. water. See, that's what, all they really take for real. You see what I'm saying? Is it the same one that took Marlowe, or is there more of them? Agent Kurt thought to himself. He got up and ran to his boat. He had to get back to mainland as soon as possible. As he jumped on his boat, 924 climbed into it with a spear and hurled it towards Agent Kurt. Duck. He managed to dodge Nice. It. See, that's what I'm saying. My boy's specially trained. Let's go. But it found its mark on the boat and made a ah. hole. The boat was beginning to sink as water poured in. You can't pass that, 924 John? lunged towards Agent Kurt and dragged him underwater. Damn. It had him in its death grip. That's a Herculean effort, though, bro. R.I.P. my mans, bro. He really tried. This is a good attempt. Wow. And they were going down rapidly. Agent Kurt took out his knife and managed to stab 19. Oh, my God. Kurt is nice. Feeling encumbered by the water. Enough for him to get away from it. It clawed at his legs, but he managed to climb back onto the fishing boat. He had lost both his gun and knife. His speedboat was sunk. Hypothermia became a problem as he shivered in his wet clothes. His wounded leg was beginning to smart. On top of all that, he was alone and being hunted. Agent Kurt staggered his way back into the bridge and tried desperately to start the engine. Oh, come on. Start, you worthless piece of junk. He remembered his radio. He ran out to the deck where 924 attacked him and saw his radio atop a drifting ice on the water. It was some distance away. He would have to swim for it. He would either drown before he makes it or 924 would hunt him down. Daylight was fading fast and the cold was sapping his energy away. He had to act and fast. He paced back into the bridge and broke out the fire axe went to the edge of the boat and waited. Come on, you bastard. I dare you. Ten toes! He the axe in anticipation. He couldn't feel his wound anymore, as if the adrenaline had numbed all his senses of pain and fear. He could see the antlers under the water, getting closer and closer. As it lunged out of the surface, Agent Kurt swung the axe nice, against nice, it with all his might nice. and struck right at its neck. Nice! Down it fell, back into the water. Agent Kurt watched the water for another moment. See. Decided Let's that go, 924 boy. was down for good, he tossed the axe aside Bad and move. took off his wet parka move. as it would only slow him down, move. then jumped the into the water. You. He swam with all his energy, and eventually he reached the radio. This is Agent Kurt calling for help. I'm stranded in the middle of nowhere. I need backup right now. Just go to the village and they'll tell you where. Over. He held his breath and waited. Copy. Backup is in route. Over. Thank you. Thank you. You gotta you get so back, much. Kurt. But his predicament didn't end there. Just as he began to relax, 924 returned. Oh no. 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 Hours later, the backup arrived. Wow. They found the radio, but no signs of Agent Kurt. Soon enough, they found him, along with Sergeant Marlowe. But they were already dead. Their insides were emptied out swaying lifelessly to the rhythm of the water. Wow. Remember to Do you think 924 every time they go into the water regenerates? Because ain't no way he took that many injuries and just kept coming back. He not built like that, surely. It was probably, he probably was regenerating. That was an amazing story, bro. I don't know who wrote that or if the, the rubber portrayed it in, in such a manner that, bro, this was fire, bro. I need more of this. More of these. This was a great way. It showed off the SCP. It explained it. had a good story. Boom. This was an amazing video, bro. One of my favorite. This is one of my favorite SCP videos that I've ever really just sat down and watched. Wow, bro. Shout out to the rubber, bro. Shout out to everybody who do fan arts all that. Shout out to the Wow. Wow. And they still died even though 
he did all that, man. What a what a guy, bro. What a guy. What a SCP. Shout out to the rubber, bro. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that. See you on the next one, bro. Peace.